Awesome. What I'm going to talk about today is how to get more leads through Facebook and through Google. And I'm just going to talk about what we've done over the last four months with uh, Lee and his company and in Florida. There we go. So I'm going to give you a brief background about me. I'm Mauricio. My name is Mauricio Cardinal. I'm the founder and owner of Roofing Marketing Pros. Over the last 18 months, we've worked with uh, roofing companies across the country. And we've worked with companies from all the way from Florida, California, uh, New York, Florida, and all these different places. So Mike Heiderscheid, can you please stand up for a second? Come up. Over the last 30 days, we've worked with Mike. And he, he, can you tell a little bit about what you've done over the last... Uh, and then the first 30 days, we did over 150,000 in sales from the Google pay-per-clicks that we've done. And can you talk a little bit about what you did and you know, how you closed so many of those deals? Um, I'll, I'll tell you first, I didn't know if I believed it or didn't believe it. And then uh, Lee called me up and said, you have, to, you have to talk to this guy. And so I still didn't believe it. And then I, I called him up and he was talking. And he says, you know, it's going to be this much money for this and this much money for AdWords and blah, 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 and went on and on. And uh, well, I'm almost 50, so I'm an old school contractor. Started with pouches on. Didn't believe any of this. Thought it was just a bunch of hubbub or whatever you want to say. But I believed Lee. And I believed and I seen what Lee was doing. So I said, okay, fine. I'll spend the money. So I spent four grand with them. A couple thousand in AdWords, I think it was. And gave you a couple thousand or whatever. And within two days, the phone started ringing. The first one was a uh, 40 square flat roof. And I love flat roofing. So mm -hmm. went there, closed it. Bam, done. Person's house was raining inside, three rooms, totally wrecked. Insurance after that came in, uh, we went to the interior part, but we'll just talk about roofing at this point. Two more flat roofs came in in the next week and a half. After that, four more shingle jobs came in, and I started really believing it. So then I decided I was gonna call them up and say, well, this actually really works. I mean, I can't believe it. And, and it's still raining. I had one yesterday, right as I was getting on the airplane, somebody called and, and they said, hey, I, got a, I have a flat roof, it's leaking in my house, uh, can you come and help me? And I got your name off the internet. And I said, fantastic, I'm going somewhere to Florida uh, over the weekend, but Monday morning I'll be there for you. And they said, great, we're not calling anybody else, we've looked you up, we know, we've talked to other people, you're a good flat roofer. And I'll tell you what, again, I'm, I was pouches on 28 years ago when I started. I'm an old school guy, didn't believe it for a second. This guy can do what he says. It does work. It really, I, I don't cool. know what else so to thank say. you for that. Yeah. So, so, this is the next one is, I talked to Rick a couple weeks ago and he closed a $750,000 deal from commercial. And that's incredible. Just one of the leads that we provide and it's a very good story, man. And let's go to the next one. So then what's the reason why you guys are here? Money. Money? Anybody know? Money. There's the reason why you guys are here. You, the reason you're here is because you follow Lee Hay, right? And you want to learn from him. But what's the reason why you follow Lee Hay? Have you guys ever thought about that? The reason why you thought you follow Lee Hay is because three years ago, Lee Hay decided to become a marketer. He decided to invest in social media. He decided to become a marketer first and learn how to understand this world. It's a completely new world for him. And the reason why he did it is because he first he wanted to do build get more recruits. He wanted to get more recruits in the door and wanted to get more salespeople in the door. He didn't really want to be a coach in the beginning. He wanted to be a recruiter. But through that time and investing hundreds of thousands of dollars on Facebook ads, he got to that point. And he hired people like Jeremy, he hired people like Russell Brunson, he hired a lot of different coaches and mentors and learned from them. And that's the reason why you guys are here, because you follow Lee Hay, you probably saw him on Facebook, you saw one of his ads, you saw one of his videos, and decided, you know what, I'm going to listen to what he says, I'm going to listen to what he's doing, and I'm going to do what he's actually looking for. So that's the reason why you guys are here, because you follow what he's saying, and that power came through because he made a decision three years ago today to do that. And you can do the same yourself, because this stuff is not rocket science. You know, I'm not the smartest person in the world. If you make a commitment to do this yourself, if you learn how to do this yourself, you will see success in your, in your business. So here's what we're gonna cover. We're gonna cover how to get more leads on demand, how to get more commercial leads, uh, how to use social media to really build a team of people, and you know, how to really skyrocket your return on investment on online marketing. So the internet has consolidated between two, two companies. So that 
old frame about you know old and open internet before it's done it's done right the internet is consolidated consolidated between two companies Google and Facebook so Google owns YouTube and Facebook owns Instagram and together they are the market share today they account for 90% of the growth in digital marketing over 88 billion dollars was spent last year in digital marketing think about that for a second 88 billion dollars and 90% of that was from Google and from Facebook and the internet has made everything a commodity think about this yourself so when you guys on the phone somebody can actually come up and look up 200 contractors in their same area so if you're in Dallas how many contractors are in Dallas anybody know 1800 okay there's 24,000 roofing companies in the US anybody know what that about that there's a hundred thousand roofing contractors over on the US today when somebody can come up they come up to you and actually look up the phone and see how many reviews you have how many Facebook reviews you have what kind of social media presence you have all these different things so in order to not be seen as a commodity you have to brand yourself and really market your business and the best way to do that is to really understand what it works what it takes to see it online so over 90% of roofing jobs begins with an online search and after 10 years over 90% of roofing companies disappear so here's some statistics about AdWords because really it's a very proven way to get business for roofing companies so it's been around for a long time so I don't know how guys have you been aware but AdWords really started in 2002 so it's been around for a long time and that advertising platform has made Google the second largest company in the world and there's over you know 3.5 billion searches per day on Google think about that for a second how massive that platform is and from my research what I've seen and from all, all the campaigns we're running the average cost per click in roofing is about seven bucks so it's pretty expensive when you compare that to other industries but overall it's less expensive than what you're saying and from my research also there's about two dozen roofing companies that are spending about a, you know a thousand bucks a month on AdWords at least a thousand bucks a month on AdWords so here's some Facebook statistics because what I tell my, my clients is that if you're just only using one platform you're basically ignoring half the internet because the internet is divided between two basically two companies Google and Facebook and Facebook's a very different way to market your business and when you think about how massive this platform is it's, it's huge right 7.5 billion people in the world and 2.2 billion people are on Facebook so Mark Zuckerberg I think is probably the most second behind you know maybe the president of the United States the most powerful person in the world when you think about that because he has the ability to distribute information throughout the thing because Facebook is the biggest distributor of news of information in the world and I don't know how active you guys are on Facebook you pretty, must be pretty active because you, you came at this event but the average American spends 45 minutes a day on Facebook so think about that for a second so they're not watching TV um, they're not on the internet they're on social media right they're on social media they're on Facebook they're on Instagram and you as a business owner really have to understand how these people interact with your brand and how you actually look at yourself so Google AdWords is, in a nutshell is about page search right so basically it's based on advertising based on what people are looking for so it's based on keywords so people are looking for a contractor you put your ad in front of them and they go and see on that end and Facebook is really about paid social it's based on targeting people based on their behavior their demographics and their interest Google is like a shopping mall so if you go to a shopping mall let's say I want to buy a watch I'm gonna to go to different watch stores so I go to a different watch store and I want to buy a different watch if a person really comes in and qualifies me that's a really good sales process so because sales is really about a qualification process they ask me questions they gather information to see if they're actually ready to buy the same thing with Google right they are looking for information they're looking for a contract they're looking for somebody and you come in as a salesperson and gather in their information to see if they're qualified because not all the time they're going to be qualified and Facebook's like a party so if you're at a party imagine you're at a party and somebody comes up to you and starts you know selling you network marketing you know how would you feel Shitty, right you wouldn't know who that person is right no, you don't know who that person is and they're coming up to you start selling you some network marketing so it's the same thing with Facebook right so in order to really understand Facebook and get it right you have to really build value and build credibility and the best way to do that is by creating content creating content like videos creating content like articles and targeting people so something that contractors do is 
you have a lot of knowledge and experience, and experience with contracting, right? Why do you share that knowledge with the people, with the, with the homeowners, right? Most homeowners don't really know anything about the roof. So you can share a like, process like the, what the insurance claim process is or what the, you know, different materials like uh, upgraded shingles or extended warranties, whatever you think your business is that you can share that process, you can share that with you. So one thing you have to keep in mind is share knowledge is very common in the roofing industry, but it's uncommon for people. Share that knowledge. So AdWords helps new customers find you, while Facebook helps new customers find you. So that's basically the nutshell you have to look for. AdWords helps you find new customers, while Facebook helps you customers find you. So the most common mistakes with pay-per-click basically are poor message match, not bidding on the right keywords, and really sending traffic to a home page versus a landing page. That's the most common mistake that we see. So basically the two successful pillars of an AdWords campaign are the right message match and having making sure that your landing page is co converting. So when, when you send traffic to a home page versus a landing page, that's what many people do, is that when they send traffic is that your home page is basically like a home, it's a business card, right? It contains general information about you and your business versus a landing page which contains specific information on a certain topic. So that's the way you have to think about this. If you do landing pages, you have well converting landing pages, it's gonna give you a higher conversion rate and it give you a lower cost per lead. That's really what it is about. So when you send traffic to a landing page, you get a higher, lower cost per lead, you save more money and get higher conversions. So here's an AdWords template that you can follow. So write this down. The headline number one is include your keyword. Headline number two is the features and benefits. Description, features and benefits and call to action. And display your URL and include your keywords right there. So if you follow this template, you can write hundreds of ads with the same copy. Let me write this down. Awesome. So here's an AdWords example that we're using today with Lee Haight and his company and uh, RCA. This is in Orlando. The keyword is roofers near me. And you see the headline, affordable and defendable roofer. Headline number two, 10 year work mission warranty. Description, the features and benefits. Most roofing jobs are completed in one day. 100% satisfaction, get a free estimate, boom. And it has all the call extensions right there. Assurance, claim reps, rent, so free quote, commercial roofing. So when somebody's looking for, they type in the keyword, roofers near me, and they're in Orlando, they get that ad. They get, it's one of the top three positions on that. So that's how you get leads. So if people are looking for a contractor, they see that ad, they click on it, they go to the landing page, and they call you. So that's basically how it works. Very simple setup, but it's very, very basic, but it works really, really well. So what makes a perfect landing page is two things, conversion-focused design and benefit-driven copy. Conversion-focused design is about building a page that's designed to convert. So it has the, the trust testimonials, it has the trust seals, it has your certifications, it has your video testimonials. If you guys have video on your pages, it's gonna increase the conversion rate. So make sure you have videos you know, of, of the homeowner, of the commercial property owner, that helps with establishing credibility because people today are very skeptical. They're very skeptical of people of when they go on the web. So most of the time, they're not gonna believe what you're saying. So in order to establish trust and credibility, you have to provide verification of who you are. You have to provide timing of who you are and how you can help them out. So what makes a perfect landing page? Again, this is about the template you can follow. Use the trust indicators, the testimonials, press mentioned, if you guys are mentioned in the press, Matt, uh, have that, have the call to actions, all that makes it stand out. So what makes it, uh, this is about the benefit driven copy really. One, one trick you can do with your copywriting is use this trick, this formula, claim, proof, benefit. So when you provide the claim, if you're making a claim online, make sure you provide proof because people are not gonna believe who you are. So when you provide a claim and then a proof, provide proof of who you are, then explain the benefits on how that part of element can actually benefit what you're talking about. So claim, proof, benefit. If you write that throughout your landing page, throughout your sales pages, we'll get you very good results. So here's an example, a live example of the RCA residential funnel that we're doing. This is actually has a benefit driven copy at the top, has a video testimonial of the actual person, has a Facebook reviews on it embedded, has the actual call to action several uh, throughout the page. And this is a commercial landing page. This is basically uh, showing a commercial landing page and all the different elements. It has pictures of their work, as a video testimonial. Of all the clients we work with, by the way, this is the only uh, company that has a commercial video testimonial. 
And you guys should do the same because that helps with the commercial leads. So have a video testimony of a commercial property owner. Have that on your page, it helps. And they're just basically, you know, what type of roofs you do, basically giving you credibility, establishing your business as the authority. Because when somebody lands on the page, they want to make sure that you're big enough they can actually handle the job. That's very important. So Facebook funnel, I just went over Google, it's all the different elements. Facebook's totally different, right? Like I was playing before, Facebook's like a party. So you can't approach Facebook in that way. Because and on Google is people already looking for a contractor. So it's very different on Facebook. So the way it, with, with Google, with Facebook, you have to seek success is basically um, you have to follow this four step process. That sheet should be on your paper, on, on your desk. It's the funnel that we build on creating awareness on the campaigns we follow. So first step, creating awareness. How do you create awareness? By creating videos. What type of videos? Videos that explain a process that's unique to your business and proprietary to your business. So what process can that be? Anything you can think of that can be of value to the homeowner. That's what you have to think about. So what is valuable to the homeowner? What are you talking about? So four to six minute videos, it can be th things about uh, the cleanup process, it could be your post uh, walkthrough install, think about shingles, uh, extended warranties, whatever you think in your area, maybe with, uh, you know, if you're in a snow curve area, something with the snow, uh, anything like that, they can be very valuable. Once people watch the videos, you go to the next step. That's the next step of creating an offer, right? The offer is going to make or break your campaign. It's going to be really what gets people interested in what you have to do. So once people have watched the video, engage with the content, then you create an offer and, and you'll take the next step. It's like dating, right? You don't want to have sex from the first relationship. You have to get to know a person first and then go to the next step. <laughs> well, if you guys, yeah, that's definitely. But that's basically the same thing, right? And the same thing with you. You have to date the person, get to know a person, and then go to the next step. So remember the magic formula. Write this down. This is the magic formula on getting an offer right. So the right audience plus the right promise plus the right time equals an offer you can't refuse. So write that down, an offer you can't refuse. So think about that, how, how that, you know, what things you can think of that really, you know, can really can make an impact in your business. So here's an actual ad from RCA about the cleanup process. It's a video, clean up plastic caps and nails after installing the roof. So one thing you can talk about is a lot of people don't know about, you know, when you're actually walking through and cleaning up the nails, the actual magnet that you guys use, that's, that's very common knowledge for you guys, but the homeowner doesn't know what the hell that is. Why don't you guys share that knowledge with people? Why? People don't, they don't know what that is. Share that knowledge, that process with, with the people. The next one is going to be a video about the post walk install. It's basically just four videos talking about the process you follow. Um, there it is. Okay, there. This is another campaign we're running. It's a survey ad. So after people have watched the videos, take them to this type of survey. You know, do they qualify for claim assistance? Fill out this 10 question survey. Question survey is very simple, talking about what type of property they have, the uh, zip code they're in, do they have damage on the roof, how they talk to your insurance company. Boom, once they have that, they get a text message directly to their phones after they fill out. It has all the information on text message. So you can set that up yourself. It's not that difficult to set that up yourself. Here's another one from Roofing Annex. So we're, you don't, we don't work with Roofing Annex, but if you guys follow Roofing Annex, they're a very successful roofing company in Ohio. They do about $13 million a year, 100% residential, and they do a lot of social media type of advertising. This is the type of campaign they ran before, the roof giveaway campaign. Think about that. It's really about giving you viral content, about really uh, just making yourself in the community, right? Not many people do a roof giveaway, but you can actually do that just to you know, get some PR, get some uh, publicity. So here's Erie Metal Roof. Do you guys, anybody know who Erie Metal Roof is? Anybody know? So Erie Metal Roof is a $60 million company on a slow year. They're 100% retail, and they only do one thing, metal roofing. And the reason why they stand out is because they only, they are specialists. Unlike most uh, contractors, which do every type of roof, they only do one type of roof, metal roofing. And that has brought them to high, very high successful, right? And they are heavily invested in SEO, AdWords. I think they're spending about twenty dollars to $30,000 a month. And here's a type of campaign that they've ran and they've been using the last four months. I don't know exactly how much they spent, but this is a type of campaign you can actually do yourself. $89 
you know, it's really about thinking about $89 per appointment if you think about the, the cost benefit and it's an HA license sale. So basically it takes them to a landing page after that. Very simple type of campaign. So let's go to the case study, all right? Lee has actually, you know, he's worked with a lot of digital marketers besides myself, you know, not just myself, he's worked with a lot of people, he's had mixed results before. And I'm gonna give you all the results we've done in the last uh, four months. So from April 4th to July 31st, we've done 272 inbound calls, we've done from pay-per-click, AdWords and Bing, uh, 118 web leads, commercial, we've done 23 web leads and commercial, Facebook property survey, so those, that's a survey that I just showed you, 203 leads from that. Uh, Facebook lead ads with address of 129 and without address 40. So basically when somebody fills out an ad a form on Facebook, you don't have to take them to the landing page, it goes, goes straight to their phone and they get people to get text messages. So over the last four months, 785 leads. And about how much in sales? I mean, about 10 million. 10 million. So here's proof, because I know you guys are very skeptical people, like Mike was saying, very skeptical people. Proof of the results, you know, 272 calls from April 1st to July 1st. Uh, 31st. This stuff works, man. It works. It really does, man. And it's work. It works everywhere. It's a very proven way to get results. If you want to get this results for your business, you just got to either learn it, hire somebody yourself, or actually, the best way to do this is actually learn yourself so you can actually hire somebody who can do this for you and you can make educated decisions on if they're doing a good job or not. That's really the best way to do it. So here's Facebook more proof of the property survey. So 203 web leads from property surveys. So every time they get a web sheet, a tracking sheet of all the leads that come in. Here's the commercial, 23 uh, web leads for commercial. It says commercial on the bottom right there. Here's the web leads for, uh, with an address, 129 leads. It has a name, the phone number, the street address, and the zip code, and the address, and all that, and the date as well. So the I'm gonna go over this really quick because the main reason why these type of canes, canes fail is lead response time. So if somebody doesn't respond to a lead right away, they're gonna fail. It's, it's, a, it's really a proven process. Over 100,000 leads have been examined. There's a lot of studies that show this. Basically, uh, uh, insidesales.com, they did a lead. They found leads that if you don't follow within the first five minutes, the lead is basically done. So if you guys read that, the odds of contact on leads called in five minutes versus 30 minutes drop 100 times. The odds of qualifying a lead have called in five minutes versus 30 minutes dropped 21 times. Same thing with that, the same study. So it's all within five minutes. So if it's, you got an inbound call, you got to answer it. If you don't answer it, then you got to call them right back right away. If you get a, a text message, if you get a web lead, you call them right away. It's really speed. Speed wins. Whoever gets to the, to the thing wins. So I'm going to go over this. Lead quality, you know, they slowly deteriorate over time. This basically shows the charts of that. Of that. Basically go over that, boom. So today we, we went over how to get more replacement leads on demand, how to get more weekly calls from commercial, you know, how to get more revenue from, you, uh, from your business, and how to get skyrocket return on investment. So what you guys need to succeed is you don't need me, you don't need Lee, you need to change your mindset. If you guys think as a marketer first, if you change the mi mindset, you'll figure this out because you won't need me or you need somebody else. You actually implement this yourself and sit your ass down and actually do this yourself. It's really the best way to do it. And you don't have to really copy, um, reinvent the wheel. You just model successful campaigns. Russell Brunson calls it uh, funnel hacking. Basically, you model what other successful people are doing. It's the same thing with online. This, the code has already been broken for roofing. You just gotta follow what they're doing. Model what they're doing, copy what they're doing, and have the mindset to invest. Think as an investor. So if somebody's investing in property, let's say they buy 10 properties, right? And two of those properties will make them rich, but the other eight fail. He's so happy because those two are the ones that are going to make them rich, are going to pay for the ones that, eight, that failed. It's the same thing with marketing. Most campaigns are going to fail. Just, that's, that's how it is. Most campaigns are going to fail. But if you, you know, take that failure as a learning experience, you go to the next step and invest in your next marketing campaign. You will learn what you did wrong, and you take the next step. So basically, now you guys have a choice to make. Now, do you want these results for your business? Anybody want these results for your business? Oh, yeah. yeah. Awesome. So I'm going to come up with the ultimate contractor funnel. It's basically a funnel that takes you, that makes you the dominant force in your marketplace, right? If you follow this funnel, it goes from pay-per-click, Google, residential, commercial, how to get more recruits through social media, how to tell your story, 
how to get more, how to come up with offers that really make your business stand out, and how to get new jobs, really, because really the, the whole thing is about getting new work and new jobs. So this is the ultimate contractor funnel. Follow this model. It's a, basically the framework of that. And this is what you, what you get. You get a residential sales funnel, commercial sales funnel, recruiting sales funnel, Google pay-per-click with Bing, Yahoo, and, uh, and, and Google, Facebook ads, an email marketing template, a client dashboard. Basically what the client dashboard is, we, put, we built an inter internal dashboard which gives you an overview of the entire campaign. It gives you how much you're spending, uh, how many calls that came in, how many calls you missed, how many email leads you've gotten, et cetera, et cetera. Recruiting ads as well, and marketing coaching from me and Lee. Total value of this is $15,000. Again, if you guys want this proof, if you guys want the same results that Lee has with his roofing company, then come talk to me later and we'll talk more about how we can work something out. Because I'm sure you guys want this for your business. Not every market is open, unfortunately. To some markets we can't work in. Um, like Dallas, I'm sorry, we can't work in Dallas anymore. But we can work in other places <laughs> that are open, right? You know, there's a lot of cities here, right? There's 50 cities that have over a million people in the U.S. So there's a lot of cities there you can do that. I got a question. Go ahead. If somebody's in Dallas, would you advertise in East Texas? Would you advertise in a suburb of South Dallas? Maybe we're working on something out. It depends how many people in the area, right? So it depends on the area. You can't, you can't work in Dallas no, you can work in Dallas. I mean, You're not in Dallas? no, we, we have a lot of clients there already. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you guys want these results, you know, this is the web leads. Again, it goes over the, pr the properties and everything we've done before. So who is this for? Again, this is not for everybody. Uh, we're very selective on who we take on as clients, and unfortunately, some uh, markets are closed. And thank you. If you guys have any questions. If that doesn't get you pumped up, I don't know what does. 785 leads, eight figures in deals, generated through the push of a button, but do you have what it takes to risk a little money to get it?